Hey, welcome to my studio. My name is Ryan Freeman. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install and save master presets in Adobe Audition. I'm gonna be installing my podcast master preset pack for Audition, which is available on my website. It's ryanfreeman.com. So saving presets in Adobe Audition is a little more unorthodox compared to other programs, but don't worry, we'll have you up and running in no time. All right, let's do it. All right, so when you download my Podcast Master Preset Pack, you will get a folder that is zipped. You'll want to unzip that folder and you will see a Podcast Master Preset for Audition that looks just like this. And when you click on it, you will have uh, an Audition session file and you will also have a text document with detailed instructions on how to install and a couple links for troubleshooting. That way, if you want to read it, you have the install instructions right there. These are my mastering presets for Audition, GarageBand, and Logic Pro. I also have podcast voice processing presets for Adobe Audition, GarageBand, Logic Pro, and Audacity if you are interested. They are made to work with one another to get the best possible sound. So here, like I said earlier, it's a little unorthodox the way that you have to kind of open and save or install these uh, Audition presets, but this is what we got to do. So we double click the Audition file. And what you're looking at here is the editor window. I have 12 tracks here and each track being a specific mastering preset. This is obviously your master output. Um, but what we have to do is first save the processing chain in this effects rack window. So then we can apply it to our master channel here. So like I said, it's a little unorthodox the way that we have to save these presets, but it's definitely worth it, even though you have to put in a little extra time right now. So I like to work in the radio production window here. I mean, you can do a default, different types of uh, workspaces, but I like radio production for uh, the kind of work that we're doing today. Um, and if you can't find this effects rack window, just go to window, make sure your effects rack is checked. If not, it'll look like that. Make sure it's checked and there you go. So in order to save and create a master output preset, we have to go to these tracks like I said, I've already made the specific effects and processing chain here for you. What you want to do is double click the title of the track. Then you want to go over to where it says presets. And over here, save effects rack as a preset. Click that preset name, copy and paste that specific track title. Really, you can call it whatever you want, but I've already named these presets so it stays nice and organized for you. Just hit OK. Overwrite because I already have it in here. Then what you can do is click here and you can scroll down to where your preset has now been created and saved onto your computer. As you can see, I have my podcast mastering presets for all these other tracks here that have already been saved, as well as my podcast voice processing presets, which are available on my website. So now that you've done that for the first track, you want to go to the second track and just repeat the exact same thing. Command C, copy that name. Go to the effects rack, save effect, command V, paste it in, and OK. And of course, yeah, you won't get this overwrite message, but it'll just save, and then there you go. So you'll do that for each of these 12 presets. And then when you are done, you can go to your master track and watch this. It's on a default, nothing there. And there you go. Go to Podcast Master. We have Remove the Mud, Sparkle and Shine, the Ryan Freeman Classic, and Tone Down. Remove the Mud's pretty self-explanatory for very muddy audio. If, if your mix is kind of muddy, you, you want to take out some of that dampening sound and brighten it up a bit. This is a perfect preset for you. Sparkle and Shine, kind of similar to Remove the Mud, but a little more bright, adds a little more top end um, than the Remove the Mud. The Ryan Freeman Classic is my favorite, my go-to uh, processing master output. I just wanted you guys to have it so you can hear how that sounds. I think you'll really like this one. And tone down if you have kind of like uh, frail or thin or kind of bright audio. Um, if you need to kind of tone down that sound a bit overall, this is definitely the preset for you. And then within these four categories, we have uh, three kind of intensities or variations or options for you. So we have a medium, which is kind of like my go-to, uh, the kind of typical or standard 
uh, type of processing or amount of processing that I would do on a track uh, to my taste. Um, and if it doesn't really work for you, if it's too much, you can go to the light option. Um, but if medium isn't enough, if you want something a little more punchy, a little more compressed, a little more EQ'd, whatever that might be, go to the hard. Um, once again, mastering is supposed to be gentle and soft. If you want real big drastic tone changes to your sound, I definitely recommend my podcast voice processing preset pack. Um, that's where it's a little more drastic and you can get a little more creative and really carve out a specific sound that you're looking for. Where this mastering presets is really great for kind of gluing and unifying your sound together in your final mix so you have a real clear and upfront sound. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to pull in a little demo that has music and a voiceover on top of the music. This is about my podcast called Workshop. I'm Ryan Freeman, and you're listening to Workshop. Jakob de Boer is... Another important note is for the mastering presets, um, they're made to interact with your final mix that peaks around minus 6 dB. So I'd recommend keeping it between minus 12 and minus 6. Um, it will have an effect on uh, how hard the compressors and EQs and, and the limiter is really working. So that's where I recommend uh, having it around that minus 6 dB. The fine arts photographer. Work Level between that minus 12 and minus 6 as it kind of peaks. So here you go. Here's the before. And we can go down to our master track. Go to our saved presets. And I'm going to go with the Ryan Friedman Classic Medium. And like what I was saying about your final mix coming in um, around minus 6 dB, minus 12 to minus 6 dB, um, I've included an amplify effect at the very beginning of the processing chain. So if it is closer to you know minus 2 or, or 0, you know, just bring it down so it comes down to that minus 6. Or vice versa, if it is you know, a little too quiet, just give it a little boost right at the beginning um, just to kind of get it peaking at that minus six. So we've got EQs, compressors, and limiters for this mastering preset. So the beautiful thing about these mastering presets is it really glues and unifies your final mix. Um, and that's why I wanted to use this demo that has uh, a voiceover and music. So music is behind the voiceover, which is a fairly typical and standard formula for podcasts. But what I really love about these mastering presets is that it really glues your sound together. So as you'll hear in the before, the music is a little more distant, a little more um, behind the voice. And then but once I activate the preset, the music kind of rises a little more to the forefront, but not really being drowned out by your voice where the voice really kind of cuts through and everything sounds very big and kind of upfront and unified as one. All right, enough talking. I'll show you what I mean. Here's your before. I'm Ryan Freeman, and you're listening to Workshop. Jakob de Boer is a fine arts photographer working out of Toronto and Paris. He just finished his new photography series called Where Ravens Cry. Here's the after. I'm Ryan Freeman, and you're listening to Workshop. Jakob de Boer is a fine arts photographer working out of Toronto and Paris. He just finished his new photography series called Where Ravens Cry. Captured in the Pacific Northwest on large... So as you can see in here, it sounds really great. You get that loudness, things sound more balanced. Um, the music comes a little more up front, but yet the vocal really sits on top of it nicely. So you're really hearing the full soundscape. I mean, this is podcasting, right? So it needs to sound the best that possibly can. So definitely recommend the podcast mastering presets to go along with my podcast voice processing presets because they are made and designed to work in unison with one another to get the best possible sound. Ooh, and that's how I say mastering presets in Adobe Audition. Took a little more time, but it's not too bad. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments down below. I'll try my best to get back to everyone. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe. I have a lot of great content coming out in the next couple of weeks. All right, now get to making. This video's done. It's over. So, goodbye.